This is just a quick video to show you how to uh, link Visual Studio to Unity. Particularly if you've updated to the latest version of Visual Studio, which is 2022, you might find that some of your scripts are not opening correctly or you might not have the IntelliSense. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at that. So I've just opened the project, uh, an older project that I created. Okay, uh, I've just updated it to the latest version of Unity trying to double click to open a script and nothing is happening. Okay, so if we go to edit and preferences, you can see that our, under our external tools, you can see that our external script editor is not saying Visual Studio, but an EXE internal. Okay, now sometimes this can work if you've set it up. However, by using the drop down, I can choose the Visual Studio community version that I'm using. Click on that. Okay, you'll notice a few things change. Now, if I double click on the script, it will open in Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for this to open. Now it may or may not have IntelliSense. And what I can see from my script is that the IntelliSense is not working. Okay, how do I know this? Well, there's a couple of things uh, that I've got going on. Number one, uh, it's showing me that it is a C-sharp file, but it's saying miscellaneous files basically means it doesn't know what the script is associated with which kind of studio so it's expecting it's just a random C sharp script. You can also see that the internal uh, functions or methods are appearing in yellow okay as though they're sort of custom functions that I've written and not internal functions. So if you're seeing anything like this whereby these such as start uh, this I enumerator is correct that should be yellow uh, and if I were to type, for example, void update, okay, um, oh, there we go. Notice it's in yellow, not in blue. So it's not, although it says it's using these uh, collections, it's not recognizing how to implement them. If I were to type something, let's say, um, I'll do a, I'll do another start coroutine. So if I to start coroutine, notice it's not really giving me anything. All right, it's not giving me the prompts that you would expect to get with IntelliSense. It should recognize what I want to do. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, first we go up to View and Solution Explorer. So if you open this, this shows me that this is an assembly C Sharp C Sharp editor, but at the moment they're unloaded from any kind of system. So if I now right click on this assembly C Sharp, at the moment it's unloaded, but if I choose to reload the project, wait for that to update, now it should recognize that this is a Unity uh, script. And we've also got this second one as well, so um, by the way, you've got two windows there. You've got your Unity Project Explorer and your Solution Explorer. This one is a bunch of internal stuff, but we'd still need to load this. So right click and reload the project. There we go. Okay, assembly C sharp on there. So let's quickly save this script. And then we need to close down uh, Visual Studio and open it again from inside of Unity. Yep, save. There we go. Just wait for that to upload. So it's doing some script compilation now. And when we reopen our script inside of Visual Studio, okay, just give it a few seconds to load those projects. And wait for it to think about it. Assembly C sharp. Ah, but our start, there we go. Our start and our update have now turned blue. Now it's recognizing it's been used in Unity. Okay, those are now internal functions and everything is good. So now in update, for example, if I wanted a coroutine, start coroutine, it's gonna give me the solution there. So it's, it's gonna basically know what I wanna do in relation to Unity. Okay, uh, so that's how you get your, um, Visual Studio linked with your Unity, set up your IntelliSense and make sure that you can open your files correctly. Now that we've finished with the um, 
Solution Explorer, we can just close that down now and close Solution Explorer down there. Okay, so I hope that you found that useful.